what is everyone and welcome back to another video in this video i want to go over how to create this really creative whip slide transition or it's basically just like a slide transition but with a little bit of a twist now i saw this video or saw this effect on a music video on instagram and I thought it was a really cool and creative idea if you don't know what this effect like the basic of the effect is the base of the effect is it's just a, it's a sliding freeze frame so as you can see buddha baker comes sliding up right here which is like a normal sliding one or you could have him slide in from the right or left but however instead of him just sliding in you have some you have a copy of him coming in from the top however this copy is not masked out while the bottom is masked out so it's, it's a really cool kind of trippy effect it's nothing something it's nothing like super advanced but just it was just one of those one of those effects that i kind of saw and kind of you know, it's just one of those cool really creative effects so i kind of want to cover it um in a video and hopefully you like um this effect so what i'm gonna do right here is i'm gonna go to the beginning of the second clip right here click on it hold down i mean press uh option f to create a freeze frame drag the freeze frame on top and then control d 10 i'm just gonna set it for 10 frames i believe the video that i found saw it in i think it may have held for like 20 frames um but you can obviously hold it for longer or even for shorter i wouldn't probably go lower than seven frames i would uh, go between seven and 20 frames i would pick in between that maybe like seven 10 15 or 20. that would be my recommendation so i'm gonna go ahead and click right here i'm just gonna type in freeze frame right here now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead hold down option and going to create a co uh, going to create a copy right here now it's important that the copy of the cutout is on top or else this effect is not going to work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and head over here to the effects panel. I'm going to go into mask. I'm just going to apply a draw mask onto Buddha Baker right here. And I'm just going to make a rough selection. Obviously if this is like a real um, edit, like I always say, put a lot more time into the mask. But for the sake of the tutorial, I'm just going to make a quick selection because this video is all about covering the basics of the effect right there. So you can see, there we go, you cut them out. Uh, now I'll go ahead and disable the bottom clip right here. As you can see, there we go, we'll just call this one um, draw mask right here. You can just call this normal clip and then the other one called like background. Depends on what you want to do. So here's the draw mask. And then here is the freeze frame right there. That way there's um, no uh, confusion. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the beginning of the clip right here. I'm going to head over to 50% right here. I'm going to open up the transparency grid so I can kind of see what's happening. If you don't have this transparency grid, it means you have an older version of Final Cut. And you're going to have to upgrade Final Cut. Not the end of the world, but it's going to make your life a lot easier if you have this a tool. Take the Y axis drag it all the way down and you want to make sure he's just barely out of screen or you can go lower depends on how, what you want uh, to look like and then we we'll head over to the freeze frame right here and do the opposite i'll take the y-axis and i'm going to drag it up now you could now you could flip it around. you could do the same thing but you could flip it around or you could have him come in from the left and come in from the right it depends on the look that you want right there so you can see right there this clip is dragged all the way to the bottom right here, the top right here and this clip is dragged all the way to the bottom right there all you're going to do is you're going to go right here click on this clip right here uh, we can go ahead and just go back i'll go back to fit go ahead place a keyframe on position you're only changing the y-axis however if you're going to the right or the left you're going to be changing the x-axis so i'll go ahead and place a keyframe right here and i'm going to go to the end and i'm just going to type in um zero right here so that way it keep basically all that's doing is it's keyframing it back into its normal position that way it can line up with the second clip it has to be keyframed to zero or else it's not going to work now we're going to go i'll go frame by frame as you can see right there voila there we go it connects with him right there so I'll go go back go frame by frame as you can see right here all you're doing is you're just keyframing right here keyframing the y-axis of both clips right there that way he kind of like locks into himself which is a really cool uh, really cool effect and hopefully you like this one it's a very different um, and unique uh, sliding freeze frame but like I said before it's very unique so as you can see right there there you go he connects right there you could adjust the position more uh, y-axis more 
to get a more accurate look but that is the basics of the effect and then you can do a whole bunch of different things i think in the original video he actually had the cutout uh, the cutout of the person I think actually come in five frames before even this came in so you could get really creative With this and come with a whole bunch of different ideas But that is the at the end of the day That's the basics of the effect right here All you're doing is just keyframing the y-axis and so you want to make sure that the draw mask is on top You want it to be on top of the video right here if it's underneath the effect is gonna look really weird So you want the draw mask to be on top and then you of course can add some motion blur to help sell the the effect a little bit uh, it's not it's, the playback isn't super smooth so I won't add motion blur just for this video I might just go frame by frame with motion blur but as you can see right there that's this really cool whips I call it the whip sliding freeze because I've already I've already made a video called sliding freeze frame so I'll call this the whip sliding freeze frame really cool effect there's a whole bunch of different things you could do with this effect and like i said before and like kind of, kind of like the whip slide effect of the whip pan you could have the background coming in uh this background coming in like really fast and repeating kind of like a whip slide uh that or whip pan 100 percent. that's one idea there's a whole bunch of different ideas when it comes to this effect right here at the end of the day that's how you create the effect and then if you want you can just add some motion blur right here i just used a moderate motion blur right here just to help sell the effect a little bit more anyways hopefully you enjoyed this video hopefully you found it helpful and informative if you're new to this channel i upload final cut pro 10 tutorials every day at 10 a.m eastern standard time so if you enjoy these types of videos consider hitting that subscribe button i also have final cut pro 10 tutorial playlist with over 200 final cut pro 10 tutorials see you in the next one peace